Hello everyone, welcome back to the Film Insight channel. In today's video, we're going to cover some Ink Master contestants that completely shocked viewers. So sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's get straight into the content guys. Okay, we're starting things off with Matt Oba. My name is Matt Oball and I've been tattooing for 14 years. I do it all. I, there's nothing I shy away from. I've always wanted to be able to tattoo everything well and have never painted myself into a corner with a specialty. Born in North Little Rock, Arkansas, Matt Obaugh moved to Kansas City, Missouri in 1988 to attend Kansas City Art Institute College. He quickly became obsessed with tattooing and dedicated his life to the craft for 15 years. In this time, he's graced the pages of several nationally and internationally distributed tattoo publications and garnered countless awards for his talent. Oba appeared in the sixth season of Ink Master, Master vs. Apprentice. During his time on the show, he faced a challenge from his canvas to tattoo something pretty difficult. He had to replicate a Victorian lace throat that mimicked a dress that the canvas's grandmother wore at her wedding. After he completed the tattoo, this is what Oliver Peck had to say about it. Overall, the tattoo is dark. From 20 feet away, it looks like a black handkerchief around her neck. I do know it will lighten up through time. But your outlines aren't going to straighten out over time. The outlines that are in the swirl patterns, there's a lot of hiccups in those lines. You definitely have considerable blowouts happening near the collarbone of the neck. That's where your lack of finesse is. The tattoo lacked depth and used way too much dark ink. During the elimination round, this is what the judges had to say about his tattoo. Why would you do that straight line across the top? At least give her some little scallops off the top and break it up. It doesn't look soft. It just looks like you slit her throat. Ugh, it's unfortunate that his canvas now has to live with a terrible blob on her neck for the rest of her life. Somehow, the dude wasn't eliminated after this abomination. Well, he did earn himself a spot in the finale by producing some fantastic tats. I really like this tattoo. It's really clean, it's really simple, and it tells the whole story. I love the details in it. The shoes, the leather you have coming up to the top of the calves. Really, really nice, clean outline, no wobbles. Overall, technically, best tattoo of the day. Today, you must tattoo one of the most painful areas of the body to tattoo. Why? The armpit. There was a little twist for the challenge during the finale. Yesterday, you tattooed your canvas's left armpit. Today, the opposite artist will tattoo the right armpit. However, you won't be working on the same canvas your teammate tattooed. The shops must all swap canvases. What? Another shop will be finishing what you started, and your shop must finish what someone else started, tattooing the right armpit. This is what Black Cobra Tattoo, which consisted of Katie McGowan and Matt Oba, decided to make. Black Cobra Tattoo, which canvas do you choose? We choose Old Town Inks canvas. By the end of the challenge, this is how Oba's tattoo turned out. Matt. The mouth is a little more legible, and I like what you did with the hair picks. No, I did make a few just kind of stylistic changes. Overall, you captured the look we want to see a little more in your rendition of DJ Strong. Just in terms of overall aesthetics, we're going with Matt. Definitely going with Matt. The winner of this head-to-head -head is Matt. But that aside, his most memorable moment on the show was the 35-hour master canvas he worked so incredibly hard to make. The worst part is, is that he didn't even get judged for it. That being said, Dave Kruzman and Chris Blinston were lucky his tattoo wasn't being considered because it was stunning and would have given them both a run for their money. Instead, we had this weird twist this season where a 6-hour live tattoo was the determining factor for who the final two were. This made Ba, his master canvas, and the viewers at home scratch their heads in confusion as to why he had to do such a large project, especially when it wasn't even critiqued. Obviously, Oba wasn't very happy. This is what he had to say about it. Man, I was, I was really stoked to do this tattoo for her. I wanted to do something that she would be able to live with and enjoy. I knew that this black and gray tattoo would be something that would last well. It's gonna hold up better than a color back piece would have. I knew it was a risk doing a black and gray tattoo for the finale. I love what I did. I hope Shelby loves what I did. I put a ton of work into this tattoo and making it a really sweet custom drawing. I drew it all from scratch. I did it from my own pictures of my own model. I really worked my butt off to make this the best thing that I could do. All right, let's move on to the next one being Sebastian Murphy with his zombie tattoo. Sebastian Murphy developed his artistic skills while airbrushing t-shirts and sneakers at local flea markets just over 21 years ago. 
After learning how to tattoo, it didn't take him very long to make a name for himself in the industry. He quickly became well known for his very intricate black and white style. His ability to create beautiful and often dark tattoos helped him amass a large clientele of celebrities and win several awards in the industry. In the first episode of this season, contestants were tested with the Fundamentals and the Flash Challenge. This involved tattooing a snake and dagger design onto silicone mannequins. This is what Murphy ended up making. By the end of this challenge though, Jesse ended up winning. However, for the elimination challenge, quote unquote, tattoo virgins were inked with the design of their choice. Murphy did end up redeeming himself since his tattoo was among the top two. Just check out what the judges thought about his piece. Sebastian. We have it all. You did color, you did solid black, you did shading. This is day one, fundamentals. Everybody should take a note from the way you treated this. Thank you. In the 13th episode for Ink Master Live, the tattoo artist had to complete a 24 hour tattoo in four six hour sittings. He did so well that he earned himself a spot in the season finale. This was the tattoo he ended up creating. Oh god, that's pretty gory, right? But what Murphy failed to notice was the woman's expression for the tattoo. She absolutely hated it and didn't think it fit her style at all. Regardless of that, Murphy disregarded how his client felt and just thought about how he would win the competition. When presenting his work to the judges, this is what they thought about it. Let's just take a look. I feel like a lot of the tattoo is a, is a great consistency. And I think with such heavy subject matter that you chose to do on this lady's back, a little more black, I'm always by the black. And I feel like something this dark needs to be darker. And without that heavy anchor in these things, there's areas where it goes flat. I would have liked to have seen you really dive in there, use a little more black to it, and really concentrate on your outlines. But overall, listen, it's, it's a great outing for you. Murphy was actually the first to be eliminated since he received the fewest votes on the show's site. His zombie tattoo even blew up on Reddit. Let's take a look at some of the comments. Reddit user Lilia Na said, That tattoo is just gross. When I saw it the other day, I was shocked. How can an artist do such an awful thing to his client? I mean, the tattoo has to suit the client, right? On the other hand, I'm always shaking my head at all those human canvases. I get it, it's a free tattoo, but come on, if you want a tattoo, then save up money and get a proper one. It seems like many of them don't even think about getting an awful looking tattoo and living with it for the rest of their lives. Another Reddit user, Cool Kid Zay, says, I gasped seeing that tattoo. He did her dirty. She's such a sweet, kind woman who even suggested involving something with ballet since she was a ballerina. He did her dirty. And no, there's no excuse whatsoever. If he really had what it took to be an ink master, he would have done an amazing design that reflected off his canvas. He's really a selfish man. Well, now you know why he's on our list. Alrighty, let's move on to our final entry on the list involving Alex Rockoff. Being a tattoo artist from West Palm Beach, Florida, Alex Rockoff has 9 years of experience in the industry. During the show, Rockoff was a ball of nervous, manic energy. He was the type to bottle things up until they completely burst. Rivals have called him flamboyant and a little bit nuts. Usually it's all fun and games for Rockoff, but he's been known to cross the line and take things a bit too far. He's typically unapologetic about everything, especially regarding his career. Rockoff believes his lines, shading, and color gradients are his strong points and that he's an art kid who fell in love with tattoos. In the third episode of the seventh season, the contestants were asked to do this. Today, we will be tattooing a surrealistic female. A what? Surrealism is the juxtaposition between dreams and reality. You can include any surrealistic elements to distort or warp portions of the face. What the f are all these big words are using? 75% of the face has to show. This is what Rockoff thought about the competition. Damn. Of course she's gonna choose something like this because it's only her that understands what she's talking about. Later on, they went to their drawing boards and this is what his human canvas wanted. Atom bomb going off in the back and like half of the city is torn down already and the outside's still pristine. The woman's face right in the middle just kind of looking forward. Take a little look at how he brought this idea to life. My canvas wants a surrealistic setting of Philadelphia being blown apart by a nuclear bomb along with a girl's face. I'll be using my girlfriend, his reference. She's hot, it'll work. This is what the other contestants thought about his tattoo. Man, I think Alex should have done a different face. He said the face he's doing is his girlfriend. Yeah, this off. Well, the only opinion that matters is the judges. How about we see what they thought? Alex. 
100% the most surreal face of the day. I don't know if that's a good thing. So I understand that you used your girlfriend's image as reference. The photo that you use, she's at an angle that's tilted like this. Right. I don't feel that you interpreted that angle well and you created a face that has more of a traditional alien shape. I guess it really isn't looking good for him. Thanks to this tattoo, he was in the bottom three. Let's see if he survived elimination. The drawing itself, the composition is terrible. Worst face of the day. While the judges were making their decision, the human canvases got together and discussed their tattoos. This is what Rockoff's human canvas had to say about the tat. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo. My artist was Alex Rockoff. Her one cheekbone is definitely a lot higher than the other one. It's not a very pretty face. <laughs> that sucks. It's almost like a scary woman's face. Yeah. yeah. I wanted a beautiful woman's face. It's very wicked witch. I gotta live with this forever and that nose is Yeah. So after the jury discussed what the worst tattoos were, this is what happened. Let's take a look. Rockoff was in complete denial that he had the worst tattoo of the night and argued by saying, I like my tattoo. It's unfortunate that Nick doesn't. I thought my tattoo was fun and colorful. I mean, her tattoo was pretty much butchered. It looked dark as And then Clean's tattoo was messy. I really didn't think my tattoo would be even close to that. It's unanimous that the tattoo, the face itself, is unappealing. From clients, your peers, definitely from us. You know, Alex, even with the bright colors you were able to put in that skyline, just the shape of the face, it's hard to get over. For me, Alex is, is the most unrealistic face of the day. Obviously, he was eliminated, and during his exit interview, this is what he said. I still feel like I had the most wearable tattoo down there. And that's why I'm a little perturbed. The tattoo was solid. And if anybody wants to knock me for it, you can kiss my ass. Rockoff is clearly delusional if he thinks that was a good tattoo. Not only did the jury believe it was bad, but Reddit users commented on the tattoo as well. Let's take a look at what they said. Reddit user Neom underscore Dreamer underscore 1977 said he was a mediocre artist throughout his run. He acted like a little baby whenever he was given a hard canvas and the coup de gras, screwing up a surrealist female portrait of his own girlfriend which was already a bad idea to begin with. Aren't you just glad he was eliminated? We sure are. That'll sadly be all for today's video here on the channel. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Which one of these contestants shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments section down below. Also, don't be afraid to give us any ideas for future videos. We love to hear from you. Be sure to give us a like and a share. While you're at it, hit that subscribe button with post notifications on to never miss out on our updates. Finally, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, guys.